What's going on, y'all? Welcome in. Another NCA 14 live stream. I'm Kimbro Plays. What's up? Oh yeah, back to it. Happy uh happy weekend. Depending on when you're watching this. If you're watching the VOD, uh, I hope you're doing well. If you're if you're live, happy Saturday. Um super excited. Just wanted to keep this thing rolling. We've been having a good uh run of weeks here where we've been diving into the NCAA series, but doing it live instead of these edited episodes. And I'm, I'm really excited and, and uh, looking forward to continuing the the story today. I'm really trying to get through the next two weeks and I'll get into it here when we show our screen. But we basically have two really like barely ACC viable programs on the docket. And uh, those games aren't going to be, I don't think, very meaningful to the story. So I want to kind of get through them so we can get to the ACC title game, get on to the 12-team playoff, and do our thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's the plan for today. Fairly straightforward stream. Bust out this game. Take a look at some recruiting updates. And uh, hopefully keep it nice and short and simple. Dust Shader in the chat. My boy Frank in the chat. What's going on, y'all? Happy Saturday. Thanks for hopping in to watch. Um, I was just kind of setting the scene. It should be a pretty straightforward episode today. We'll quickly recap what happened last stream if you missed it, and uh, we'll kind of keep it rolling here. I'm fired up, man, though. I I've been enjoying telling this story and getting to play some NCAA 14 again, especially live. It's It's been a blast. So, okay. Last week, we'll just start right here. This is the best place to start. We took on NC State, and we took them down. Um, I think they were ranked six in the college football playoff when we played them last week. And um, they were not very good. Um, good to see you, by the way, Dust. Much love to you, brother. I hope you're doing well. We need to link up. And, and Frank says, nice hat. Repping the Cleveland Cavs, baby. Let's go. They're going to mess around and uh, not do well in the uh, NBA playoffs. You hate to see it. Frank in the chat says, I spy two baby Yodas. Yeah. Double Grogu's in the background. <laughs> got, a, got a few of them back there. Um One's, one's legit. I think one was what you guys were selling at Zulily, Frank, by the way. I think uh, like one of those high-end ones. Really, really, really nice. So 45-7, we knock out NC State last week. Uh, if you missed it, we had some... some. We were pretty much dominant from the rip, but we had some crazy plays that uh, I wish I could replay. I wish from this screen you could replay, but we had an 84-yard touchdown run from Adams to end the first quarter, which was by far the coolest run i've ever seen i actually made a youtube short about it so you can check it out here on the channel when that uh short drops it was an incredible play he made a spin move in the hole busted off of a of a tackle and then broke out of another tackle and had the wheels to go 85 to the house it was so fun casey smith with i think his fourth run of 65 yards or more in the last three weeks he's just been ridiculous busting off you know long touchdown runs and yeah, we got it done last week. We we handled them. They were not competitive at all. The running game was non-existent. They threw for 55 yards passing. Uh, we just swallowed them whole. It was kind of insane. So, yeah, NC State, we knew they were a little bit overrated just because of their like team roster. They weren't very they weren't very good, but they didn't play well at all. So, it's crazy. Crazy crazy. Let's take a look at some storylines. Looks like Nebraska and Wisconsin in at Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska's home for this one. Pretty huge battle implications for the 12 team playoff. Undefeated Wisconsin, the Cornhuskers, eight and two. We will definitely check in on that score. There's the recap from our game last week. Michigan improves to four and three in Big Ten play. Ugh, they upset Rutgers last week, but Michigan not as good as we thought. A trip to the woodshed. For all the pregame hype, the Georgia Tech game did not hold up. That's true. We saw this at the end of the last week. Pitt in prime position as the number four team in the country. Georgia Tech goes down. They didn't put up a fight at all. Eight and two Georgia Tech losing by 39. Um, Notre Dame lost to Kentucky. Wisconsin moved forward against the UCLA, which we saw. This one was crazy. Syracuse, who was ranked number nine, gets upset by the worst Clemson team, I think probably in the Dabo era. They lose by a touchdown. It looks like they tried to come back. They were down two touchdowns. They score with two minutes to play and cannot make it happen. So Syracuse, man, I feel bad for them. I thought they were uh, they were trending in the right direction, and they get upset. You hate to see it. 
I think the Wisconsin Nebraska game seems to be the, the game's preference for biggest game of the week. So we'll keep an eye on that. Looks like uh, Alabama is climbing up the polls. Let's start with the college football playoff rankings. Remember, 12 team playoff. It's going to be kind of crazy. First time ever in the series that we're doing 12 teams. So we'll kind of go through here. Um, Frank said the fighting McCords. That's right, the fighting Kyle McCords. Getting upset in a game they definitely should have won. Three teams at 10 0 Florida, Wisconsin, and us. Pittsburgh, 9 and 1 followed by North Carolina. So the ACC well represented here in the top five. Nebraska at eight and two, Cal at eight and three, Illinois also looking pretty good. Georgia sliding after their loss to number nine, NC State sliding to number 10 after losing to us. Kansas State up a few spots. They're in there at number 11 at eight and two. And then TCU up a few spots after beating BYU at nine and one, TCU up to number 12. Akron, the Zips, in at number 13, which is in kind of insane in the MAC, eight and two, and then Army out of the excuse me, the Mountain West, 14. So only 12 teams can get in. Be very interesting to see some of these teams sneak in. Obviously, there's a lot left to play. We got two more weeks of the regular season, and then we've got the conference championship games. So many, many, many more changes are ahead for this uh, top 12. Um, I think we're sitting pretty, though. Uh, I think we can handle one or two losses by this point and still make it in. And we only play, I think, left on our schedule. I think the only teams left are we've got Wake Forest today and then Louisville next week. And they're combined like four and they're like four and 12 or something. They're awful. Wake Forest only has three wins. C roster all across the board. They don't have hardly any of their stats outside of the top 100 or inside of the top 100, I should say. They're like not even average at passing. Their rush defense is bad. And you see us, top points per game in the country, top five in total offense and running the football, number one in total defense, number one in total rush defense, and then we're top 10 in turnover differential. So this is not going to be a fair fight in my opinion. So I'm, I'm excited to get into this one. And uh, like I said, just kind of make it happen. So that's really way. I'm not even going to look at the wake roster. We're not even going to look at their head coach. A lot of times for the episodes, I spend time taking a look at that stuff. I want to make today about Marshall and where we stand in the last couple of weeks before the end of the regular season. Kangwin in the building. It's good to see you, brother. Thanks for stopping in my boy. So here we are ACC conference standings on the Atlantic side. I think we've locked this up. I don't, I don't think there's a way we can lose and not make it on our side of the bracket. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, our, our, wait, I think we have a three-game lead. So, yeah, so I think we're already in. Florida State, Syracuse, NC State. And then, like I said, look, Louisville with two wins. They must have won last week because I think they used to have just one win. And then Wake Forest with three wins. So both of these teams, the two worst teams in our conference, in our division, are, are our two next opponents. So... Should be straightforward. We are likely going to see... Well, I don't even know. I guess technically right now with the 5-0 and division record, we would face North Carolina. Um, but we could also see Pitt. We'll see how the next two weeks goes. I don't know who each of those teams have. Let's see, can I see it from here? Yes, I can. So Pitt is at Duke and then at Miami. And Miami's better than that four and six record. So that's Pitt's remaining schedule. Here's North Carolina's remaining schedule. Miami and Duke. So they both play the same two opponents. That's hilarious. Yeah, so we'll see how that ends up. I if both teams win out, um, it'll be North Carolina that we that we see in the uh in the ACC title game. Pretty crazy. All right, Heisman watch. Here we go. I didn't show this. I saw this at the end of the stream last week, but I didn't say anything live on stream. We didn't look at this. Casey Smith has moved into the top spot in the Heisman race. He has been going off the last three weeks, especially put up 142 yards, three scores against NC State in like three quarters. He didn't even play the fourth. Adam Hunter, the previous leader, has slid down. Andrew Adams's case has slipped away. He's still been putting up yards, but we've been winning so big and he hasn't been throwing the ball that his uh, his Heisman case is sliding. And then you've got Jonathan Berry from Pitt, who's a really good player. And then you've got Tony Meyer, the running back from TCU. Um, Adam Hunter, of course, leading Florida. 
But look at Casey Smith's stats. So, you know, he was a he was a kind of a backup halfback two in 2017, which was season five. And then here in season six so far, he's already over 1,300 yards, averaging 130 yards a game rushing, 17 touchdowns on the year, which is insane. And then he's added a lot in the pass game too. So just under 300 yards and, you know, is able to get a few catches out of the backfield. We throw it to him on screens. He picks up a ton of first downs. Um, 258 of his 285 are after the catch. So he's been doing his thing. So yeah, there's Casey Smith an 84 overall, but 94 speed, 97 acceleration, 95 agility with 96 elusiveness. He has been really, really, really good. He's atop the Heisman list right now. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Michael, what's going on, brother? Says, I finally made it. You're not late at all. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I think we're going to dive into the game. I think we, uh, we've we kind of taken a look at everything. Like I said, I don't really care about looking at Wake Forest. They're going to be pretty insignificant. I will show this. I don't know if I've shown this in a few episodes. This is a really cool uh, little page that is kind of tucked in the menus of NCAA 14. So Adams is 1,900 passing yards, is top 35 in the in college football. And then here's Casey Smith. Literally just 38 yards behind Mullins for the top rushing leader in the country, which obviously that's part of the reason why he is the top of the Heisman list. So um, he is right in there in the mix as the best runners. Tommy Chambers at 415 is our team leading wide receiver, but only good for 187th in the country. So I feel like we've efficiently passed the ball, but we do not put up a lot of yards through the air, which is, you know, hurting us a little bit. Um Three guys in the top five for Marshall in terms of tackles. Ryan Young in a tie for first. Uh, we're just a tackling machine is the number one defense in college football. You've got Ron Davis and Hooper leading the country in sacks, which is crazy. The sack numbers are, are always a little high for the user relative to the CPU. So we've been getting in and pressuring the quarterback. What we don't do is turn them over, though. Not a lot of picks, not a lot of fumbles. So Sanders is uh, has three on the year. Mario leading the team. He's 68th in the country. And then kicking leaders, Manny Seymour, our kind of noodle leg redshirt freshman, has the longest field goal, his longest at 48 yards, which is good for 40th in the country. So I was like uh, taking a look at that little leaders, league leaders uh, page. Um, that's always a good one. Last thing I want to take a look at, we wrapped up the episode last week with recruiting. Um, we've got 20 commits on the year were the number one class in the country. We've got two five to five stars in the uh, in the cycle, which is in a tie with Nebraska for you know best in the country. But it's the four stars that are just like swallowing everybody up. So the the class is is insane. But we're kind of in a conundrum. This happens to us. I feel like every year, the last couple of years in this series, as the team has gotten better, we only have five scholarships remaining. But we've got a handful of guys on the board that I would like to have. Jerome Young, the number one outside linebacker. Outside linebacker, 700 points max. We're putting it on him. we got a lead for him. We're fighting with Pitt and NC State. But like, if this drags on and we run out of scholarship spots, I'm going to be pissed because I really want him. Similar to Jay Will, right? Pitt's in the lead, but we're full court pressing on Jason Williams, the four-star corner. Uh, Benjamin Pope, 700 here for him as well. Kevin Gilliam. 700 for him as well and then you got Ty terrence tyree and jeremy burrell the punter who's a stud at 81 overall so uh, if you're doing your math at home that is six players for five scholarships and so we've got all of these extra points that we're not allocating to anybody because i don't want anybody to commit to us uh, and steal one of these scholarship spots like i wouldn't be mad if we got four-star damian brown the center but i don't want him over for example like benjamin pope the tackle so we've got to figure out something. We're, we're in a scholarship crunch, uh, and I don't know how we're going to get out of it because there's a couple guys that we, I would like to not accept their scholarship if they all, if they are committed. So franchise in the building. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. We're uh, we're just keeping it running through our, our series here with Marshall, and I've transitioned to live streaming, man. Um, just doing the doing the whole busy thing as a, as a working dad. It's it's been easier for me to not spend some time. Um, you know, sort of messing around with editing and just knock this whole thing out. So, um, yeah, it's, it, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. Franchise brings up a good point. Take most of them off your board. I wonder if I take them off my board, 
I don't think that revokes their scholarship, which I think most of them I've already given a scholarship to. It's a really good point, though. So, like, McCutcheon, for example, he's a four-star, but honestly, we're good. We don't... We have another tight end in the class that's better than him, and we've got an, an athlete that I'm going to convert. So if I take him off his, the board, you see it says scholarship off, offered. I don't think it's going to take his scholarship, but I guess from like a not putting points into him perspective, we can take them off our board because anytime they're on our board, uh, they're going to get accrued points. So let's get these guys off the board, and hopefully that doesn't make them commit. We'll just freeze them. So yeah, six guys, five spots. We'll just kind of keep going full speed ahead. Yeah, that's exactly what you said, Franchise. They keep getting points. Very smart. I appreciate that tip. You are all over it. Speaking of, let's save the game real quick before we get too, too far, and then we'll dive in. Um, it'd be good to buffer that defense for sure. I know. I, there's a couple guys I would love to add to the defensive end. I love adding, you know, tackle on offense, like offensive linemen that play tackle. Like, that type of stuff is huge for this game. So, I would love to make that happen. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. First five win. Exactly. Uh, first five guys to get into the class, you're up. It's up to you. So, um, ooh, interesting. We got some all blacks with the blackout logo. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer right there. The all black versus the all white uni matchup. And as you can see, this is not much of a competition. And there's games like this that just happen sometimes as you get later into your dynasty where you're just going to kind of roll somebody. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to not play the game. Let's just go ahead and uh, stream it real quick. Knock this out. Tell the story and, and kind of keep going. So happy Saturday to everybody who's in the live stream. Um, if you're watching the VOD, I appreciate you stopping in. I hope you are well wherever you are. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Let's storm the field with the herd. That's what I'm talking about. You can't cut someone that commits. No, gang, when you can't, they're just in. And I've already offered scholarships. So um, <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad. They've got a few guys that are uh, are coming to visit, visit a five-star athlete for them uh, at Wake. What the hell does he want to go to Wake Forest for? Maybe he's one of those athlete guys. So here's a quick look. Sick loading screen with MHJ. That was good. Yeah, Revamped has done such a great job. I, Marvin, Marvin's such a stud. So uh, they have a defensive tackle, 83 overall, who's a good player. Wide receiver Chase and a DB Franklin are some of their top players. And then for us, obviously, names you guys know, David Watkins, CB1, Tommy Chambers, who I would consider wide receiver one. Uh, he's just kind of more of a slot guy. And then Justice, um, just a stud at right guard, the best right guard in the country in terms of overall. Uh, and then they have a few guys injured, mostly the right tackle who's not going to play. And that's pretty much it. Let's just get into it. What do you guys think? Let's see what's going on. Marshall at Wake Forest. You guys let me know what you think of the uh, the game audio relative to my voice. Tell me what the balance sounds like if I need to change anything. So, fourth ranked rushing offense, first in rushing touchdowns. Obviously, we haven't put up a ton of yards, but we've thrown some passing touchdowns. We've been able to get the ball in the end zone. We've been just fine. It's just we haven't put up a lot of yards. That's been the big thing for us this year. So, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Look at this guy riding in on a Harley. What in the world? They got the Demon Deacon. I didn't know he went down. He got down like that. It's actually hilarious. My boy out here doing his thing. I, uh, I'm, I'm very excited for EA 24 or 25 and uh, seeing like the presentation elements and seeing what they do to change some of that stuff up. I'm, I'm fired up. I really cannot wait. So looking forward to it. Truest field at Wake Forest, huh? Okay. I don't think I've ever played at Wake Forest in any game. I really don't think I have. Heads, and it is heads. I think we're going to give them the ball. Yeah, we're going to give them the ball. It's going to be a blowout, but hopefully we can get a quick three and out and keep the momentum going. Um, I am going to... I'm going to turn up some of this stuff because I'm not afraid of Wake Forest at all. So if we can lock them down on defense, um, I'm going to be good to go. Yeah. Even if we fumble the ball a little bit. Yeah. I think we're going to be aggressive. I don't think this game's going to be much, much of a fight. So let's get into it. Thank you guys for kicking it. I appreciate the heck out of you. And we are underway. Is this week 13, I believe, if I'm not mistaken? And they're going to return it out. 
out across the 26. That's kind of where they're going to start it. 27-yard line. Get the Marshall D going. If you haven't watched the streams, um, this is kind of a just sort of half of a data dump from sort of what's in my head. I don't really commentate the game. I kind of talk through my thoughts and then, you know, kind of live react. So I'm, I'm really fired up. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here watching. I appreciate you. Good run here on first down for them. I hate that animation. Always drags us like eight or nine yards downfield. So that's a good little play for them. Running out of shotgun, a little draw play. Thoughts on the new kickoff rules for the NFL? I heard a stat the other day that in the XFL, it was like a 95% kickoff return rate because the penalty of kicking it short or through the end zone is like out to the 30 or the 35 yard line that's like an un unreal number like 90 some percent kickoffs I, I think we're gonna have to wait and see like how much of an impact it has on the game but on first blush the idea that the nfl game will have kickoffs be relevant again is a good is a good thing i think that's a net positive so I i'm not mad about it i'm not mad about it at all well, kudos to these guys as they've decided to do some things. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. Strickland breaking two tackles on the edge. And uh, I guess I probably don't need all the aggressive tackling adjustments on, but at the same time, like, come on. Can we make a, can we make a tackle? Are you a Marshall fan in real life? What's going on, Josiah? I'm actually an Ohio State grad. So I'm not a Marshall fan. I use the word fan loosely. I, I actually, because of doing this series for over a year, I root for Marshall probably more than any other team like outside of Ohio State. Like I, I follow Marshall. I've become friends with some of the players on the team because they're awesome and they've tuned into the series. I've, I've linked up with multiples of them on Instagram and stuff. So I'm, I, I, I didn't grow up a Marshall fan. I like the movie um, and I'm a college football fan, but I'm primarily an Ohio State fan and I just happened to support Marshall because of, uh, because of doing this with the series. So I, I've, been, uh, I've been welcomed into the Herd family by, by fans, by uh, players, by people who you know, just appreciate the fact that someone is making content supporting the herd so i feel very lucky um to be embraced this series has actually been embraced by a lot of the marshall fans and stuff which has been very cool so yeah i support the squad i'm i but i didn't grow up a fan and i'm not from huntington or anything like that so get out there boys good play good play good play josiah yeah ohio state we're hosting marshall this year it's gonna be crazy i mean obviously i'll be pulling for the buckeyes um but that'll be awesome to see the herd in the in the big in the uh Horseshoe. I saw him in the. We didn't. We saw him in the big house a couple of years ago when they upset Michigan. I obviously do not want anything like that to happen uh, this season. But um, it'll be very cool. It'll be very cool. As they fall start. They put together a, a little bit of a drive. I mean, they've completed a few, few, uh, few first downs, couple throws, broken some tackles. They're backed up here though. Third and very long. I'm gonna have to hit pause. This is a weird glitch of. Like you can see down here on the ticker, you can't see the down and distance. So I, I don't show you guys this during the edited versions of the of the episodes, but I actually have to go into the instant replay and that updates the ticker. And now you can see it's third and 15 in the corner. It's just a weird little quirk that nobody probably knows unless you're a content creator, because obviously you want the down and distance to show. So we're going press coverage all the way. I'm not afraid. We're going after these boys. Let's make it happen. Third and long, we're all over it. That's incomplete. And the punt is going to have to happen. Good D. Way to bend, don't break, boys. Way to get out of there. I'm actually going to go safe because I don't know. Cross midfield, this feels fake punt territory, but you just never know. Um, two years, you started this series in February 2022. That's insane, Kangwin. Thanks for uh, looking it up and finding the number. That sounds about right. I, I don't... I've been doing Marshall content for so long. It's been awesome. I've loved it. And I can't believe I've done two full calendar years of editing NCAA 14 12 years after it released or something stupid like that. That's pretty cool. Um, so I've had, a, I've had a blast, man. This has been so much fun. I'm going to be sad to... There's definitely going to be a part of me that is sad to get onto the new game and sort of be away from Marshall. I don't love running this into this loaded box on the left, but I don't have a good... I don't have a good audible play, so let's just get this thing moving, even if it's a TFL. 
Uh, I went to see Marshall at Ohio State years ago. Love y'all stadium. We got demolished. It was a blast, though. It was a Thursday night game. I remember that. I do remember that. I didn't know what I know now about Marshall and a bunch of the traditions and, you know, how prestigious the school is, um, you know, in terms of, like, a rich football history. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. We I wish I would have known back then because I would have probably paid a lot more attention um, to what you guys had going on back then. I'm going to see if I can get Walker going here on, on the outside. Oh. oh, as we get hit on the weak side, starting slow. A TFL, an incomplete pass, backed up, third and 11. I've really felt like I had blocking on the left side, so that was annoying to not have anybody there. Let's see, what can we dial up here on third down? Fade smash. I don't hate that. Hopefully I don't have to check it down. We'll see what happens. Middle field open. We got all kinds of people in the backfield. Yeah, they're sitting soft in zone. We're going to check this down. Smith! No! Trying to toe tap on the sideline, and he drops it. Oh, it was a first down. You know what? That was that. That was that higher chance of dropping i don't want that on we don't need that we can break our own tackles oh we have to punt on our first possession a little, little sluggish a little sluggish start probably should have taken them a little more seriously than i have i didn't even look at their team their roster nothing good hit by ward but good return thompson with 20 yards hot start frank says in the, in the chat <laughs> that's so that's so funny. Hot start. Yeah, sure is. Son of a gun. Us Heard Faithful do love you, Kimbro. Can't wait for that Marshall Ohio State game. Thank you, bro. It's been fun, man. It's been really fun. I've I've connected with podcasters, you know, in the Marshall like media. I've I've I don't know if I told you guys this. Coach uh the head coach, I'm drawing a blank on his first name. Um the, the Marshall head coach. Present, real life. His wife follows me on Twitter. Like the Marshall fan base and everything has been awesome. It has been awesome and, and, you know, to be embraced by some of the players and by a lot of the fans and stuff has been so fun. Oh, give me that. The user. Okay, all is right with the world. Yes, Coach Huff. Jessica is his wife's name, and she follows me on Twitter after seeing some of my content online, which is awesome. So pick six for the boys. I read that uh, I, I read that halfback screen from a mile away and just user it with Ryan Young, the middle linebacker. The heart of our defense, best player uh, in the linebacker room. He's like 6'6", 250 or something. He's a fucking beast to the house. Okay, all is right with the world. Yes, Charles Huff. So his wife, Jessica, uh, if you if you look at my like following list or whatever, she follows me, which is awesome. Going to go down 3 nothing. That would have been bad. And here we are, Georgia Tech's first studio update of the day, 26-14. Virginia Tech gets the update on George, or the upset on Georgia Tech as they've dropped two in a row. The Yellow Jackets looking rough. You hate to see it. Wow. We thought they might have had something, and, and they are fraudulent. Uh, Josiah asks, are you going to continue with the series when the new game comes out? So I don't actually know what we're going to do. I Like, here's what I was thinking, and you guys are here in the chat, and you guys can kind of give me some feedback. So... There's a few things that I've been thinking about as it relates to the new college football game. First and foremost, I love my Ohio State Buckeyes, and I don't know if I need to do an offline series or what, but I've got to play with the Buckeyes in some form or fashion. If I don't do that on stream or, you know, in content form, that's fine. But, like, Ohio State's probably going to win the national championship next season, and the new game is, has been out for the first time in, like, 10 years. So I have to play it. I have to use the bucks, right? So that's one element that I have to consider. The other element is if there's some sort of like team builder, I would be very interested. Like how fun would it be to create a college, set up our uniforms, set up our traditions, pick a fight song. Like depending on the customization of the game, if that type of stuff is in there, I'm very much interested in exploring that. So that's something that I've been thinking about as well. And then the other thing is like the normal rebuild stuff. Do we go and take, you know, uh, take a, a, a random coaching story and build a guy up through the ranks? What if it was like a former Marshall player from this series, right? Somebody that we've played with for seasons in this series who is now his playing days are over and now he's going to be coaching somewhere, uh, you know, getting his start in college football. And then all of a sudden, 
we take them through the ranks, maybe even coming back to coach their alma mater as a stop, right? How cool would it be to revisit Marshall in EA 25 uh, using, you know, former player X, and we could figure out who are some of our favorite people from the series who would be good candidates. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. Get out of here, boy. I'm eating that up. Don't run the stretch on us. Kenneth Daniels in the backfield. Big TFL. So, yeah, so those are kind of the, some of the things I've been thinking about. Like, how exactly do we, you know, honor such an awesome series that we've had for so long with this game by still also, you know, keeping it new, keeping it fresh, doing something unique. So whether it's the uh, whether it's the former player route or it's the – oh, shit, he dotted me up. Whether it's the former player – that was a good throw. Or, you know – Going with the team builder, I don't know. We'll see, but those are kind of some of the thoughts I'm having. So if you guys like something in particular, definitely let me know. Give me some feedback on that. And as the game comes out in July, we'll we'll make some decisions. They aren't winning with 12 team playoff. Sorry, but no. You talking about the Bucks? Oh, we are. The Buckeyes are going all the way, dude. We're we're, we're hoisting. Everybody just needs to get ready for it. Ohio State hoisting. The only thing that'll stop is if. If Ryan Day calls the plays instead of Chip Kelly. If Chip's calling the plays, it's over. It's over for y'all. Nice play by Ryan Young there. Nice play. He's he's so good. Like, actually so good. I am a, a big Ryan Young fan. He wasn't even, like, a, a highly touted recruit at all. Ryan Young was kind of like nothing. And then all of a sudden, he's been a baller. Okay, I like this better. I'm going to go with Ryan on the backside. Oh, good throw. Wow, what a play by that guy right over the middle. Standing in there delivering a strike while getting hit. Eric Chase over the middle. Look at that. Ford getting hit by Hooper. Dot. Inbreaker over the middle. Under pressure. Oh, good throw. That is a good throw. So, okay, Wake Forest. At home, night game. Obviously, going to probably throw it all at us, right? They're not afraid. They're going to try to ruin our season. This is a very aggressive play call on first and 10, but I'm here for it. We're out there going backwards, baby. Nice play, Jermaine Matthews. Corey Brown in the backfield. We had Ryan Young going to everybody flying downhill to the ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what are we dialing up? Second down, I'm going to call some cover two man under. I keep calling it cover two. It's just two man under. It's a little man. We're going to press him. They're going to try to outflank us. Little speed option. It's going backwards. Ron Davis. That You know, that's part of the logic of this game. They never were able to get right. The CPU calling speed options. Now, the play's not bad per se, but like, the down in distance, the the logic of the quarterback not to pitch it. There's just some goofiness that uh, they never really got worked out, unfortunately. So, all right, how's some cover four? Packing up a forest? Yeah, man, we're, we're doing some work. We're doing some work. Third and 18. Let's just make sure we get deep enough. I would like to prevent them from getting a field goal, but, oh, that's mine. Oh, that's mine. There we go. That was an interesting decision. Mario Sanders, his fourth interception on the season. Leading the team, toe tapping along the sideline, questionable throw. Coaches in his ear, late to the sideline. He had checkdowns all over the field, and uh, they squander an opportunity. No wonder they are three and seven. I mean, come on. Have we even had the ball in offense? Is this our first? Yeah, we had one series. We had one series. That's what it was. Interesting. I called a play action, but I don't love that. We're just going to call deep pass. Yeah. I'm going to keep Brennan in to block. We got to go. Oh, my God. Get out of the way. Ryan, get out of the way. I got tackled by my own offensive lineman. I had plenty of room. And I go. Justice turns right back into me, and we fumble. Jesus. Comedy of errors on offense for us so far. You hate to see it. What the, what the hell is he doing, by the way? We have nobody to block. Look at the right guard, 79. Oh, it was him and Brennan. No, yeah, he comes right back into me. I'm I'm probably picking up five yards at least. 
Good God. Good God. I mean, I obviously can just run the ball and make this happen, but I'd like to get a few throws downfield. I, I feel like Adams needs to get something going through the through the air here. Get a little rhythm, but good run by Smith. Get him get a few back. I was trying to juke that guy and it didn't respond to my my uh my joystick at all, unfortunately. This first quarter has flown by, to be honest. It has flown by third and five. I'm going to call a little flanker dig. They do have their best corner on the right side. Tommy Chambers, Taylor out there, Smith, Matthews on the back side. They're blitzing. That's wide open. Breaking a tackle. Has a few blockers. Does he have the speed? Armstrong's got 20. First down. They blitzed from the left. That just opens up nicely for us. The safety's never going to be able to stay with Armstrong from that deep. And he misses the tackle. Armstrong. Yes, sir. 20 yards first down. It'd be good to see 81 get back into the flow, man. I I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if he's a step slow or what the deal is. He just hasn't really been as big of a factor. No safety help. Now, if I check to a pass, are you going to press? You are going to press. So we're going to take a shot. Chandler Taylor up the sideline feels great to me. If he could get off his coverage, and he does, and that's overthrown by a mile. We can't get there. Adams currently one for four. Ugh. Yikes. I don't hate the play call. I don't hate the check, but, I mean, Matthews and Taylor don't get off press coverage. Just atrocious. Okay, well... They're going to continue to do this. We're going to have to continue to try them. Chambers, Armstrong. Okay, let's give it a go. Checking into play action. Oh, Taylor doesn't come across his face. Jimmy Vaughn steps in front of it. Just, just a mess offensively. I mean, we could, we obviously could run the ball. We could just continue to run it, but that's no fun. It's not fun at all. Third and long from our own 39. Let's just see what we have. Got to go with the check down. Armstrong's got to find a way to get forward, and he does. Picks up the first, keeps the chains moving. Brennan, hello. Two plays making it happen for us. Love it. A little off coverage here on the left. This is supposed to be a throw out to Taylor. We are going to give it to Smith. Has some speed around the edge. I do like that the game has some RPO elements. Like, that's a fun way to play this. You can do the zone read mechanic, but you can hand it off or you can throw it, which I like a lot. But yeah, so there's some stuff. There's some stuff in this game, but at the same time, we need a lot more for the new game. A lot more. But hey, moving the ball forward now. Final play of the first quarter. So we're trying to get some blocks out along the edge. And Smith break a tackle. He's got the first. We're going to give him only three, but that felt like a more successful run than that, didn't it? Yeah, clock's going to stop on the first. Go ahead and run it. Get to the second quarter. 7-0. Kind of thought this game would be a cakewalk. It has proved to be not a cakewalk. And I think we're in trouble. I think when the game went to the highlight package, it froze. Can't do anything. Push an X. Push in circle. I hear audio. But the game froze. And this has happened to me during recording. I think it hasn't happened at all in season six. I remember texting Frank about it. I remember playing a game. It was a ranked opponent. And I remember playing a game all the way into the start of the fourth quarter. And this happened. And I lost it. I lost all the footage. Like the game could, like you, you have to play the game over again. So we're, this is not great. I'll just tell you, this is not great. So. Uh, yeah, if I hit start or options, nothing happens. Literally stuck. You'd see it. 
Okay, well. Not ideal. Let's go ahead and get some music going and see if I can reboot the game. Good thing we saved before we decided to hit play. So, yeah, there's that. Don't mind me while I work over here on the other side and uh, see if we can get this game back up and running. That is awfully frustrating for the game to freeze like that. You hate to see it. And it is fully frozen. Like, I'll show you if I go back. Suddenly now, it's just a black screen. So, nothing we can really do about that. Uh, so, I guess pause, please. Hang on for a minute. We'll, uh, we'll get this thing rebooted and see if we can do anything. Like I said, it's been a minute. It hasn't happened in a while. Multiple multiple uh, weeks. But it just happened. It did just happen, in, indeed. So, Are those new glasses? Uh, they are new-ish. Yeah, I think I got them probably not since the last time I streamed, Kangwin. But uh, I think I got them right around the turn of 2024. They're actually from Warby Parker. And they're the miles morales glasses like they're from the uh they're from the collection from the spider-man 2 video game is that what it is the spider-man 2 video game so actually pretty sick I, I i'm a big fan of them i they've they've done pretty well for me so yeah uh I, I like them a lot i like them a lot so okay game's back uh and here we are dealing with technical issues like I said, I don't. It, it's very rare. That doesn't happen very often, but it does happen that the game sort of sketches out on me like that. So, but thanks, thanks for uh, for for complimenting them. I do like them. They're very comfortable. Warby makes good stuff. I've I've been a Warby Parker fan forever. If Warby could be like a sponsor of the stream, I would definitely let them. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna start this over. Hopefully, we'll play a little better. But I'm gonna change his pants. I'm gonna change our pants from white to green just so we can distinguish like the old episode from the new episode. And I'll probably do their pants in gold so we can tell them apart as well. And that'll be how we, uh, that'll be how we know <laughs> if we're looking back on the stream, what happened. So hopefully this doesn't happen again, Jesus. Only Frank's. I, I uh, Frank, I missed your message earlier. OSU quarterback week one. Who is it? Your your chat message. I'm going Devin Brown, DB 33. I think he's the. I think he's gonna get to the fall, and and hang on to that job. I think that's definitely what's gonna happen. So I, that's who I'd be putting my money on. To be honest, we're lucky that uh, Wake Forest doesn't have any weather. Because sometimes when you load up the second version of the game, you get some bad weather, and it's like, holy hell, man. What in the world? So, okay. Same screens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, y'all, that this game doesn't uh, doesn't mess around. I might choose some clock earlier. Like, if we get to, if we get a 14-point lead, um, I'll probably, like, speed up our process a little bit just to make sure we get through this. There's a different Demon Deacon's cutscene. Even though it's the same, like, total thing, he... That wasn't the same angle as last time. It was pretty cool. All right, we can skip through all this. We saw that. Truest field at Wake Forest. We had the ball first. We went tail. We went heads last time. We're going tails this time. It's heads. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Uh, I think they're... Are they giving us the ball? They are giving us the ball. Okay. We're going to hold our blocks. I want to do that. I don't care about big hits, but I'm going to do zone coverage and contain. That's how we'll do it. Okay. And uh, we are underway. Five red lights and we are underway. Let's try this. Take two. Oh, my God. Eric Love. Good little return. Nicely done. Casey Smith gets it. Let's ball out again. <laughs> Run it back. I'm pretty sure it was 7-7, right? The only thing that happened was we messed around and had that pick six. I don't think we had anything else. The game was pretty uneventful at that point. So maybe we'll get some a better game this time. That's the one thing, man. I'm very excited for the new game because it'll be hopefully a little more stable. You know, college football revamped. Ooh, Casey. College football re revamped sometimes gets a little wonky. I've got a good machine. Obviously, I'm streaming in a high quality. But, like, sometimes the, the game itself is just a little unstable. You have to play it on an emulator. 
which is a you know a thing you had to download so it's just kind of hard to tell sometimes what you're going to get from the system but yeah so far so good oh 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 we gotta check it down mm. jesus jesus casey got blasted i got that out of my hands late to the check down but i didn't want him to run up field just fucking hang out on the sideline why you gotta go up field always does that something about this game I watched the UFL today. Ooh, Kate. Jeff Clemens. So, first of all, Casey Smith must be hurt because fucking Clemens is in the game after that tackle. He didn't stay down, but it's definitely Jeff Clemens in the game right now. Um, I watched the UFL today, and the games were amazing. I'm, I'm jealous. I have not gotten a chance to look at any of the UFL stuff. The only thing I know is the kicker. The kicker who is the YouTuber. You guys know about that? The the YouTube kicker who's out there doing work? Oh, it's late to the sideline. Come back! Fucking son of a bitch! Oh, Jesus, he's got room. Get that dude! <laughs> Henry, the safety, picks us off. You see, I took over Armstrong. I wanted to stop short and come back to the ball and jump, and Armstrong... Didn't want to animate to jump. So. Turnover. Didn't love uh, didn't love any anybody getting open. Like, it's Wake Forest. Why are we not just like, we have miles and miles of separation. Somebody get open. Destroying. Yes, that's his name. The YouTuber Destroying is now the kicker for the San Antonio Brahmas, I think is the name of the, of the UFL team. I'm so excited because like, his YouTube series has been amazing, and he's doing like a behind the scenes, like hard knocks type thing. Not as like crazy as hard knocks. He doesn't have that access, but you know, just behind the scenes of his process to like try to make a real professional team, and he has done it. So I'm excited to see him play. It's going to be very cool. So, um, well, I'm pretty sure Casey Smith got injured, even if just slightly, and we've already had a turnover. Oh my God! Thank God he is an awful quarterback. Ford a mile a mile wide I don't know who was covering the tight end he was going to be wide open on that uh on that route but I I was using the linebacker and we were just going to be hanging out so it was a zone coverage for me I don't know what the hell these guys were doing I don't know what the hell these guys were doing Ooh, give me that they go with the check down and uh I think that's three and out right hmm uh. I don't know if they got a first down. But nevertheless, they're punting it back to us before crossing midfield. So the interception doesn't really do any harm. You know, it's just more annoying than anything else, but doesn't actually result in anything. And we're going to turn this out to the left. See if we can get an angle for Eric Love. He's got some space. Spin move. Good little return. 20 yards. Ugh. So interesting in the first possession. So these guys came out in basically like single high coverage they didn't really they didn't have two safeties out there at all so they were committing an additional player to the box right so that safety who's on the left hash they were walking a safety down into the box right into this run lane so we're not going to have as much room to run oh casey as we'd like unless we make a play like that we have to make a man miss pretty much every single play because we're outnumbered without the quarterback running the ball which i don't like that's why I like to throw it. But, shit, if we're throwing interceptions and no one's able to get open, like, well, I ain't got no options. So, just have to see. Yeah, another situation, single high. I'm actually going to flip this out to Armstrong on this little uh, little screenplay. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Three yards, like a long handoff. I love the Birmingham Stallions and the Memphis Showboats. I have never... I, th I think I've watched... Did the Birmingham Stallions... Did they win? Was it the XFL? What's it? What was it called? It was the XFL in what other league? Regardless, Birmingham sounds familiar in terms of like a really good team. Is that true? Oh, Casey. Good run. Good run. But yeah, I'm going to definitely check out the UFL. It's a little too early for me to be in football mode. I, I kind of need basketball season to, to run its course before I like can get really into watching some, some form of football, but at the same time, like, I'm looking forward to what the UFL does. And, hell, how about the 
NFL stealing stuff, man. Kidding me? Did you guys see this shit? What the fuck? We've got Armstrong right over the ball. William, duck. Could you duck? Could you just or catch it? Could you, if you're gonna do it, catch it. And then we almost catch somebody, catch it. Can you believe we've won back-to-back -back championships with these freaking bums out here? What the hell was that? All right, here we go. We're going to take a shot, see if we can get Taylor to the end zone. We cannot, but we do have Armstrong. Good run. Busting through people. Brennan Armstrong breaking tackles inside the three. 32 yards for the six-foot-seven 250 pound junior tight end former number one tight end in his recruiting class probably the biggest recruit we had ever brought in at the time just a monster i'm surprised he didn't get through that last tackle as well what a play that's why we throw it to 81 in the first place so anybody who's not catching the football leave 81 alone get out of his way okay first and goal Armstrong not open. Adams tucks and runs and gets spun around and eventually gets in. Jesus, the animation spun me all the way. Holy. Okay, well, into the end zone. Andrew Adams. Apparently the game's not going to show us the replay. We scrambled. We scored. That's all we need to know. Six plays, 62 yards. Marshall takes the 7-0 lead. Studio update. We should have seen this score. We did. Virginia Tech. It's the dub over Georgia Tech. I'm actually going to let this play through. Sometimes the first studio update has two scores. And if I hit X to go back to the game, we won't see the second update. So let's see if it changes to a different score here in a few seconds or if it just goes back to the menu. Uh, regardless, Vatech. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Wisconsin with the one point win to stay undefeated over Nebraska. Syracuse and Florida State in the first quarter, similar to our score, seven nothing. That's a crazy result. As the Badgers, I think they're they're a real thing. They're a real team here, huh? My goodness, Wisconsin. That's cool. 36-35 over the Cornhuskers on the road. I can't wait to check out that box score. See how that how that ended up. Was it a last second thing? What happened? And I don't know where this returner's going. Great job by Joe Montgomery. Keith Thompson only gets 15 yards, and they're going to start inside of their 20. Not what they were looking for at all. I am not afraid of their throw game, so I am going to play a little cover six here on first down. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm not tripping. Got to get over. Nice job, Ryan Young. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love using a linebacker or a safety. I'm a big fan of filling the run gaps. I get shook every now and then by the computer or like some goofy shit happens where we don't animate and like we never make the tackle because he doesn't actually tackle. But I love like playing linebacker in all of these college football games and lurking and, you know, scraping over the top to get tackles, filling holes like that. Oh, it's so fun. One of my favorite things playing defense. Okay, Ford, struggling. Got himself a little run. He's not had a lot of options, this quarterback. He threw two picks, remember, in our first version of the game. So, here we go, third and long. This is not where you want to be against us. We're going to come after you, and we're going to play tough man coverage. We're going to lurk you. They're going to draw play it, and we're going to be all over it. I wish the, I wish the computer had better logic. That's never a play that hits for 10 yards, but... You know, nothing we can do here. So they're going to punt it again, and hopefully we can get a nice little 14-point lead going. Get this clock going. Get back on schedule. It's already 1045 on the East Coast. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you sticking with me through uh, technical difficulties. Oh, Eric, good spin. 11 yards. I think we got across midfield right there. I spilled water all over myself. 
I'm one of those people who loves like, you know, a squirt bottle for like normal everyday. Like some people like coffee cups. Some people have like Stanley mugs. I'm a big fan of like an actual like squeeze water bottle, but you know, I still don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Tommy Chambers with the run. Oh, I was trying to get outside quicker than that. A little four yards, a little triple option little dive to the number one wide receiver on the team. Pretty interesting play call there. I'm going to run slot under here from about the 45. Single high coverage. We'll see who carries the two tight ends up the field. If nobody does, we're going to take a shot. One guy did. Oh, KC block for me. I set KC Smith in the backfield to block, and he just whiffs. Oh, I knew it. 25 completely lost in the sauce in pass pro. I needed just another second to be able to launch this ball downfield. And unfortunately, 25 lets us down. That's super frustrating. Third and long. See if I can get anything dialed up to pick this up. If they're in man, these guys are going to be in trouble. No, but that's a dot. Ooh, what a haul. What a haul by Brennan. Tight window. He's already up to 50 yards in the first quarter. Good, strong throw by Armstrong right on the body. Didn't lead him. Takes the little bit of a bump, and he falls forward first down. That's, a, that's what we like to see. We said it. We got to get 81 involved. We got to get 81 involved. Well, here we go. That's what it looks like. Okay. We're running play action here. Kenneth Walker, middle field closed. I said Kenneth. It's Lou Walker. I would love to see him get open. We're coming back. Chandler Taylor on the comeback route. 12 yards. Our boy got chucked. Lou got chucked by the linebacker, and it disrupted the route. So the timing said we got to go outside with this ball. Good route by Taylor. Good job to come back for it. First down. Okay, here we go. That's a give. Casey Smith juking, falling forwards. Got a 10. Going to get the first down. Running through some traffic. Probably should just Casey Smith this thing all the way home, shouldn't we? Out here trying to throw the ball. Eight first downs in the first quarter to just zero for Wake Forest. Two high safeties in shotgun with Casey Smith. We're going to pull Justice. Oh, he gets drugged down from behind. We might have gotten to the end zone. Five-yard carry. Like I said, for Casey's Heisman campaign, we're probably going to need to feed him. If the D continues to just swarm these guys, I don't think we're going to have the starters in for very long. So, all right, let's see. What do we get here? I like Tommy's pre-snap alignment more. Blue, we got to go. Andrew, falling forward, picks up five. They did a good job showing man coverage with dropping off into zone right there against us. So, had to tuck. Wish I could have gotten a little bit further, but that'll work. Do I want to counter this or just straight up dive it? I like the split zone. Let's do it. Inside zone, they've they've pinched the defensive ends. Let's see if that does anything for them. The defensive tackles. Yeah, no, nothing. Nobody touches Casey. Four yards into the end zone. Running out of shotgun in NCAA 14 is so overpowered. I mean, I'm not mad. But it is, it is a little much. The corner routes are a little overpowered, and, you know, zone read is a little overpowered. It's a little too predictable. Lots of stuff. I mean, the game's 10 years old. Oh, what do we expect, right? Lots of stuff they can improve upon. Lots of stuff they can change in the future, but it's just such a great game. It's still so good. It still holds up all these years later. Great kickoff coverage by the boys. We've only given up seven yards of offense so far. We've swarmed to them 14-point lead for Marshall already. We're going to bring the DBs here from the slot. I'm not sure what they're going to look to do, but we're going to bring some people down into the box. They're running it. Ron Davis all over it, going backwards. I think that was a counter. Mm -mm. No, I think it was a draw. It just took so long, and Ron Davis is just too quick. Knife's right in. Bad news bears for those guys. 
Let's go cover two. I really like this cover two. I run this out of the 335. That is a gorgeous, like a gorgeous looking cover two. Well done. They end up getting a yard out of that. They should have lost a few, but we covered it well. Yeah, that's such a that's such a great play out of this playbook. Unfortunately, they're coming out in four wide this time, so I'm not gonna be able to run it exactly the same again. Cover four, cover three, cover three. I was going to man coverage him, but I, I think we're just going to show man, cover three it, and then see if we can confuse the quarterback. Oh, he's going to run the draw again, and it's going nowhere. I mean, hell, if the computer and Wake Forest are just going to give up, we're just going to put in the backups already. You know? Jesus. Not even trying to throw on third and long. I know they're backed up, but, like, come on. You're at home. Playing the number one team in the country. Give your boys a shot at least a little bit. Eric Love. Eric Love. Eric Love. Woo. 26 yards. We're within striking distance. I mean, we're kind of always in striking distance, but especially after that. Okay. I'm going to take a shot here on first down. If we can cross the face, if Tommy can cross the face of this safety, that looks like he's blitzing from the left. He's not. I gotta check it down. Oh, Casey. Oh, Casey. Woo! Man, Smith is Smith has been so good, man. That's the reason they're last place. You're right. That is the reason they are last place. We are gonna go some chew clock already just to make this thing happen, because we're just now done with the first quarter of this version of the game. So 14 nothing. I'm not going to touch anything. I think last time the game froze because I was hitting X at the same time that this montage was starting. And that's what I think it happens because the game never freezes in the middle of play like that. It always freezes in between quarters. And I wonder, like when I record, I don't typically touch the controller very much. I'd like to try to capture as much footage as possible and then edit it out. But I think sometimes I don't use the montages. And so I think that's oftentimes where that happens. Oh my God, Casey rumbling. So I gotta, I gotta try to remember when we're live here not to hit anything. Cause that's when I think the game's like. Beautiful run by Casey Smith. We are in business, boys and girls. Oh, Jesus. I swear I threw that. I swear I threw that. Good play by that guy. Henry came flying up. Nobody gets open. We had Britt and Armstrong out there. And as soon as I got outside and tried to buy some time, look, I'm throwing it. Oh, I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. I tried. Couldn't get rid of it. Nice play. Big time sack by them. I just don't love any of these formations for this tight. Right? Like this tight into the end zone. We're going to run crossers here on second and goal. Let me try Armstrong on. Oh. Matthews for six. Ends up getting seven. I wish I would have had another tick. I was in the menus. Would have probably tried to go even further behind Matthews. Third and goal. You know what? I'm not worried. I know it's five yards. It's a tight box, but I really do think we can probably run this bad boy in. Yeah, Casey. Touchdown. Okay. Off and running. The boys. 21 nothing. The zone read is so OP. Man, it really is. The game, the game really does uh, really does a number on the defense on the zone read. Another studio update. This is probably for Florida State. Ooh. Number five, North Carolina. All square with Miami. I just said it. I just said it at the start of this episode. Miami's roster is much better than that 4-6 and six record. Like... That roster is good. So we talked about the pit game in the North Carolina game, sort of depending, you know, figuring out who's going to be on the other side of the ACC. Like, I think Miami might mess around and ruin one of those teams' days because they are talented. 
They took us to OT last year. I think we handled them this year, but it, it wasn't, like, super easy. Like, we ended up, I think we kind of struggled with them for the first couple quarters, and then that was that was it. But, God, Miami's good. Four and six, that's just a letdown. But they're, they're talented. We got a zone blitz coming. Nice job by Johnson. I fucking hate that animation. With all of my passion, I hate that animation, and I hope it's not in the new game. Because that, that play is getting... He's getting grabbed by a defensive end at the line of scrimmage, and he just goes into this dumbass movement and ends up getting eight yards. It would have been a three-yard gain at most. Shit is so annoying. <laughs> hate it. Oh, all day to throw. Nobody getting home, and they're going to pick up the first. Is that their first first down of the day? I think it might be. Okay. All right, Wake Forest, I see you. Respect. You can actually complete a pass and get a first down. Oh, no. Sanders. I had him. Mario. A little four yard dive. Okay, look at them. Second and medium. Who do they think they are? Guess we got to bring some more pressure, huh? 21 nothing, but they're trying to act like they're still in this thing until it gets to third and long, and then they won't. Give me here. Oh, I was trying to go for the swat with Daniels. Only pick up a few. Third and three. Wake Forest. Hmm. Yeah, I am going to play man here. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. We're going to press coverage. I really want the safeties to come down into the box, but they don't pre-snap. And they run the speed option like we talked about. It goes backwards, and that is that. Just the third down play calling in NCAA 14 is insane, man. It's insane. We're going to punt block, man, just in case they try to fake it. I don't think they will, but... Yeah, I mean, I just there's some stuff that I wish. Here's what I think. I think the last time they played this game, they didn't have the ability to like update the game after it released, right? We all had physical discs. And like I hope in the new game if they notice some trends, like I know they do this with like NBA 2K for example. They'll tinker with the balance of the game after the game's released. Obviously, they've been doing it in first-person shooters for a long time. I hope we see them do it in the college football game. Like, I would love to see them mess around with some of the settings and stuff just to make sure everything's exactly how it's supposed to be. Ooh, probably don't need Adams taking a shot from the defensive end. How were we not? How did we not get a yard? That wasn't a yard? <laughs> we went backwards? Ooh, felt like you got four yards. What? PS3 was able to do game updates. Yes, but like, I think industry-wide, it wasn't... I don't remember them ever doing an update like to the gameplay, right? To the balance. After the game released, especially. They weren't messing around like that. I don't think anybody was doing that back then. It wasn't until some of these shooters and, like, you know, the Fortnites of the world were doing new seasons. And now you see it like every game has it. They've got a battle pass. They've got season this, season that. Like, I think that's fairly new. So I'm hoping that's what they do. Not necessarily from a microtransaction perspective, but we have, we have the technology to update the game. Let's update the game. Everybody covered, so we're just going to take off. Get some great blocks downfield. Slide it down with Adams. Mm -hmm. Well done, Andrew. This was interesting. They ended up playing zone, but everybody just kind of guarded like our... Our decisions on where to go went straight to their zone. Like, all of those routes just ended up right where they were playing defense. So, not exactly what we were looking for, but... All right, here we go. This is supposed to be a screen. Let's see how it looks. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. Smith cuts it upfield. Nice little return. It's on return. Nice reception. 13. Screens in this game are also a little OP. To be honest, a little bit, but I would like to see a little bit more diversity in like the way the defense 
guards the screens. So, Tommy, good anticipatory throw. We got just enough time in the pocket. I was looking at that the whole way. Tommy gets off the press coverage. He's got the guy in the back hip. Our blocking holds up just enough, and we drop one right into the basket to Tommy Chambers. Beautiful pitch and catch. Is that Adams' first touchdown throw in the day? I think it is. Lovely. Lovely play there. I'm gonna I do want to take a look at that recording. This uh this replay, because I don't know what happened here on the right. Is that Donnie Landry, the right tackle? He holds up initially in protection. He gets under. Ooh, we barely got that away. And if you look at Chambers on the left side here, gets off the press coverage. And we're looking this way the whole time. We just need to get through this traffic. Like, there's just a lot happening. We know we've got an outbreaking route. We know there's a ton of space onto the word wake. But, like, it's taking forever. Taking forever. Get rid of it. Bang. Beautiful. Beautiful. 28 nothing. Good, guys. 100% holding. It definitely probably was holding. I have the hold blocked on. You know, so it probably was holding. Miami. Let's see if they can keep pace. Looks like North Carolina. 52 seconds left to go in the first half. They might take it to halftime with the touchdown lead. Very interesting. We'll have to see. As we are under three minutes to go in the first half of this one, we get another kickoff going. Mario, nice, strong tackle. 21-yard return. Backing them up again. Kickoff coverage has been solid. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not about it at all. So they start the day from the 25. All right. I'm going to scooch everybody to the right. Blitz is coming from Eric Love. Can't get home, but they drop it. Woo. Good coverage. We were right there. Should have been a completion. Footsteps, indeed. Another zone blitz. I'm gonna man. I'm gonna manually do this one with Eric Love. Oh, we got a good run at him, but David Watkins gets smoked, stiff armed. They can play. They threw it right where the blitz was coming. I'm gonna pick up the first down. We ran that play one too many times. I'm gonna fake it. I feel like the only real good defense in this game is like the only good formation in this game is actually like. You got to play man. Man is like the answer. No, oh, I was trying to get out. <laughs> I was the one responsible for covering him, and I was using Eric Love. And he got like stuck on the offensive line, and I couldn't get back out to cover. Oh, that's annoying. That guy, they had nothing open if that guy doesn't break free. Second and inches. I feel a run to the right coming. Don't you? I still feel a run to the right coming. It's a draw. Aaron Soul all over it. Nice play. They're going to give credit to Paul Stratton, but this is number four all the way. Good hit right on the hip. Beautiful. I definitely like Aaron Soul. He's He feels like a linebacker to play with in a good way. He feels like heavy, but not slow. But also agile, like he's he's more agile than than Ryan Young when you when you user control him, which is very fun. Can Scott Ward get out there? He slows him up, and then we rally to it. Rivers gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's gonna leave him with a fourth and two. They're gonna have to start going for something soon, man. My goodness, I don't know what the heck they're doing. A minute and a half to go in the in the quarter in the first half. I think they're gonna run this clock. The computer runs the clock here. They don't wanna give me the ball back exactly that time, but they don't chew clock, so we have to sit here. This happens all the time. Ridiculous. But ultimately, he is gonna snap it, and we are gonna get the punt away. I don't see us doing too much, being too aggressive here before the end of the half, and he shanks it. Okay, well, 20 yard punt. Casey Smith with only nine carries with two touchdowns over 70 yards. What, 75 yards? Man. Falling out. Well, I wasn't going to throw, but I, 
kind of have to with that shitty punt. I kind of have to throw. We'll have to see who comes open here. Zone. Oh, Brennan. I know I was throwing on the run. The ball wasn't 100% accurate, but Armstrong can't reel in the one-hander. Dang it. Dang, that sucks. I like that play, too. Flanker drive, I think that's called. No. Air mailed by Adams. I was trying to go for the second window. Hit Matthews on the backside, but... Well, we went from, oh, this is no big deal. We're going to be fine to now or on the back foot. Perfect on third down so far today, though. So let's see. Got Taylor and Armstrong and Britt all working over. They're going to be in zone. We're fine. I think they are. Oh, Taylor's open down the field, too. Safely out of bounds for Adams as he navigates. Going to be a little winded, but pick up the first down. We've got all three timeouts. No reason to panic. Use the quarterback's legs a little bit there. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Pre-snap, this feels good. A wheel route from Casey Smith. Oh, they're in zone. Sons of guns. They're afraid to play man coverage against us. We're going to take our first time out. Coach Mayo stops the clock. 30 seconds to go. I'm... I'm I would love to be able to take a few shots, but they're just playing so much zone coverage that we can't really get anything. If I could get some man going, just a little bit, conceptually. Nope, oh, zone here again. Neither of those guys open. Adams is out of bounds with the first. 23 seconds left to go in the first half. We're having to use the quarterback's legs, get out of... Get out of the pocket a little more than I'd like. I'd love to sit in there and deliver a few, but we're not able to, unfortunately. At least not yet. I'm going to look to throw this backside slant to Matthews. But it all depends on that weak side linebacker. Right to the right. Nope, he covers it. Oh, it's late to the sideline. Armstrong, luckily he drops it. I didn't know that guy was coming up so fast. I didn't see him until the last minute. Well, we ran that play because it said set up, but that did not feel set up to me, did it? Did it feel like that to you guys? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Checking it down. Chambers keeping his feet. Ugh, just short of the first one to stop the clock. Mayo takes his second time out. Third and one. Yeah, I think the play here could be ultra aggressive. I think the plays pick up this first down on the ground. Take maybe one more shot. And then make it happen on the field goal. I really didn't want to take that timeout, but I was afraid the clock was going to keep running. So we'll take one more throw. It's got to be to the end zone or bust. But then after that, we gotta we gotta go. We gotta go, yo. I'll right, try a little switch release here. I don't know, but it's gotta go to the end zone either way. On both sides. There's Lou. Oh, he threw him out of bounds. Oh my god, that guy intercepted the ball. The ball was underthrown. Lou had a step. We're lucky not to have turned that ball over. God, that's frustrating. We had that. Oh, a tricky, tricky field goal. Yeah, we got it. Seymour drills it. I thought the screen went black and we froze again. <laughs> I thought we froze. 31 nothing. Marshall rolling. I think maybe one drive for the starters in the second half, and then we're done. We'll get the backups in, and we'll go into chew clock mode. Nissan, innovation that excites. Is that still Nissan's? Slogan? They still use that? Feels like they do. That Brennan Armstrong INT was so frustrating. He had a great first half. He probably had like, what, 60, 70 yards? Adams has the rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown. Obviously, the one interception hurts, but Casey Smith 
short yardage. We've had all kinds of room to run in the red zone. Obviously, we could just run the ball down the field most of the game if we wanted to, but I really would love to get some flow going in the passing game, but we just have not had a lot. So pretty balanced, though, 135 to 133. We only have given up eight yards rushing on the ground. The run defense has been insane, and we're losing the turnover battle, which is the most annoying thing to me. I hate that. So, all right, here we go. First half is over. Time for the second half. Like I said, like I th I'm feeling like one series. I mean, up 31 nothing in this type of situation. We, we, we've we got a 12-team playoff in front of us, ACC championship games in front of us. We're not looking to do too much here. Not looking to do too much. And to be honest, until they prove that they're going to throw the ball on me, I'm probably going to sit in some base covered. Base 4-3. We've got Ryan Young out there, Aaron Soule out there, and then Matt Sullivan as well. Let's go. A little cover three action. Well, they find some space between the linebackers. A.J. Chase, their number one wide receiver. Nice little reception there for him. Pretty frustrating. But good play. Good play. All right. We're getting outflanked on this one. So let's swap. Get some strong side D going. They're doing curl flats. McDonald, the tight end, bumped out of bounds. He's got five. That was frustrating because we were supposed to be out there in general. And just like nobody, nobody cared about getting out there to cover him. Had two guys in the, in the area. Little zone cover two. They're looking to set up the screen. Soul's out there. And he clotheslines a man. Aaron Soul, TFL, big hit. I mean, the, the blocking logic, sometimes these linebackers are just too quick and oof, crushing. Big time play, Aaron Soul. Yes, sir. 0 for 5 on third downs for them today. Ryan Young's going to be our blitz man. Scott Ward. No. I hit the user swat, and this guy reaches up and catches it. No. I'm sick. I'm ill. I switched over onto Scott Ward in the area. I tap L1. He swats it away, and this guy toe taps it. Picks up the, like, second first down for them all day. Oh, and Hooper misses a tackle. Good tackle by Daniels. We still get over there to cover it. I was trying. If I wasn't in that animation right there, Ryan Young had another pick six. I was usering Ryan Young, and I got just, like, shoved by the offensive lineman and couldn't do anything. Good tackle there by the DBs, though. Good tackle by the DBs. Man, that's <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. The tip. The tip completion. Oh, boy. Going backwards. Ford somehow holds onto the ball. I'm pretty sure all four defensive, <laughs> defensive linemen had a hand on him. Let's see. Who touches him first? Stratton, then Davis, then Hooper. No. Three of the four had hands on him in the backfield, but we finally do bring him down. I think that's our first sack of the day. That's insane. What in the world? It feels like we've been all over them today. But they do have a... They, we only have the one sack, so here we go. Should be some good coverage here. Chase in the backfield. They're running it. No, they're throwing it. No, they're running it. Watkins has it. I don't know what happened there as Watkins stumbles down. Our first INT on the day. Ford in the backfield on some weird third down play. Late to the sideline. Four, four white jerseys in the area. And David Watkins, cornerback one, has his first INT of the day. I wonder if that's got us close, if that's got him close to the team lead. I know Mario Sanders has three. He had four, remember, in the other game, but I think David's got to be getting close. He just doesn't get attacked as much. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to spin and bust that thing back outside. Woo, woo, woo. 
I don't want to give Casey too many carries, but at the same time, I don't want his Heisman campaign to just go away because we're just beating the crap out of these guys. So I think we got to keep it going just a little bit longer. Oh, nice play by them. Smith bouncing off people, but TFL'd. Chris Johnson there. Look at this. He just gets through Tommy Webb. Thomas Webb. Gosh, dang it. Left guard couldn't hold his block. A frustrating play there. Third and 10, basically. No safety coverage in the middle and a blitz coming from the right side. We're gonna bring Casey Smith in to block. There's the blitz. We got nowhere to go and we're under pressure. Tom, God bless America. There's no way this guy is able to run down QB1 like that. And he gets just a shoelace. Adams knows it. He should have been able to get away. Man, coverage just had everybody clamped. I mean, I'm surprised more teams don't do this to us, but look at this. No safety help. This is third and long. Where am I going? I mean, Tommy Tommy at first, but to be honest, I was looking right with Brennan because I knew he had a post, and I thought he could cross this guy's face. He never does. So when I look back left, it's already too late. But nobody else is open. Nobody won off the line of scrimmage. Just atrocious. Route running. Nobody. Well, our dreams of giving Casey Smith some more yards for the Heisman campaign and getting the starters out. I mean, I certainly could take them out. I don't know if I want to. I don't know. Maybe one more series. Maybe those guys will play the fourth. Or won't play the fourth, I should say. I don't know, but I'm pissed. Damn it. Oh, boy. As we go all out blitz on first down, and they have a random guy just absolutely burn us. So there's that. There is that. Late to the sidelines, Daniels is there. Can we keep our feet? Kenneth, can he get to the stick? He can. Late to the sideline in man coverage, and uh, that's not going to be a recipe that gets you a lot of completions. You're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble. As we get the pick six, we now take a 38-0 lead. I would show the replay, but you guys got a good look there. More updates from the studio. Let's take a look. 28-20 Miami hanging around North Carolina up eight as they're about to get into the fourth quarter. Crazy. Four and six Miami hanging with the number five team in the country. UNC struggling. This has been a tough month of them for the of the season for them. They have barely won. They lost a game. They barely won another. Now they're in a dogfight with the Hurricanes. Mario Sanders in there like a missile. All right, Pacific like game summary. We've been okay today. We have been okay. Got the pick six, that doesn't hurt. All right, I think either way, this is the last series for the starters on D. No reason to risk anybody on defense. Oh boy. Oh boy, David Watkins, his second INT on the day. I thought about usering, but I was like, if I switch on to Watkins and he doesn't jump, I'm going to lose it. So we just let the computer take that one. And Watkins underneath, wide receiver doesn't fight back through him for the ball. So that's exactly what the doctor ordered. We get the INT. And uh, the offense can come back out for one more run. This is going to be the KC Smith show. Him and Adams on the ground as we chew clock. Look for room to run. Not a lot. Five yards there. I feel like if we can get 11 more yards with Casey Smith, he's at, he, he just needs to get to 100. Like, 100 yards rushing is like a gold standard. You know what I mean? I just got to find a way to continue to get him across that number. Oh, boy. Adams hit falling forward. He's got four. 
not what you need in a 38 point lead game. I just wanted to run that kind of normal and we were struggling to block it. Third and two, a loaded box. Not a lot of room. Smith is gonna fall forward and pick it up. Luckily that animation saved us. <clears throat> 92 yards, two touchdowns. We'll go a little bit more here with Smith. I don't know if Clemens is in the game to spell him or not. No, it's still Smith. Let's see if we can get a few here. I love that play. Brennan, get upfield and get me a block, would you? Eight yards. Put us right at the century mark. Six and a half per carry. Beautiful. We have done some good things on the ground. Continue to just, just swarm people with the run game, to be honest. Oh, Casey, juking. That guy rubber banded from the secondary. My goodness. As we're now comfortably over 100. A TFL wouldn't even do us any, any anything wrong. So I wouldn't mind a normal play action play here, but I don't have a lot in this playbook that I love. So it says switch curls. They're going to cover this differently. So I don't know how much... We're going to have open here, but we're going to take a look. Oh, not a lot. Again, nobody really finding ways to get separation. Pick up what we can with Adam, slide down safely. Not really interested in doing too much with him here, but run the offense, maybe throw it a few times. It would be nice. Tommy coming over in motion. Third quarter winding down. Final action for the starters. We're going to get it to Tommy. Don't get out of bounds. Good spin. Way to get up field by Tommy Chambers. 14. I did not mean to spin there. I was trying to juke inside to out. and He just spun. But it worked. We'll take it. <laughs> All right. Play action tight end wheel. Probably the final play. Now we probably have... Well, we might have one more. We might have one more play. Ooh, what a throw! <laughs> oh man, that is a big boy throw there. That is a 30-yard laser in a tight window, in stride. I liked that play. I saw that kind of opening up the whole way, but I kind of got to it a little late. I was really looking at Ross. Because over here, we can tell it's going to be zone. We have a linebacker in the overhang guarding a wide receiver. So we hit the play action. And then right here, I know Lou's coming across, but it takes him forever. I mean, look at how long it takes for Lou Walker to slow his feet down and come across the middle. And then this, the linebacker runs in front of it. So I was like, oh, that's not going to be open. And then I see here, it's open. And I know he's going to run into that void. And it's a dart. Whew. And Lou finds his way into the end zone. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Good throw. Wasn't really trying to pile it on to score another touchdown, but that's beautifully done. Well done by the boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third quarter coming to a close. We'll sub the second teamers in here in a minute. And Mario Sanders able to just run over and make it happen, apparently. Three INTs for the D. One return for a pick six. Was that two for Watkins, one for Daniels? That's been fun. That's a fun little plot line of this, you know, second version of the game is how well the defense has been able to get turnovers. And uh, they're going to trot number six back out there. Brandon Ford. Three INTs and only 70 yards to show for it. And this is the right time. I know it's not the fourth yet, but we're going to mass subs. Sub in the second team offense and defense, and we are going to let these guys run it from here. We'll continue to chew clock for the most part. That's it for the starters. 45 nothing. they win. Whatever the record, whatever the final score is, is, you know, it's all up to them. Ford on the run. Good throw. Well done by Montgomery. Joe Montgomery gets in there. Hot zone coverage in, out there. Makes the... Makes the play. Breaks it up before that guy can 
comfortably haul it in. Would have been a first down too. First team offense still in for Wake. Ford still running the show as he launches deep downfield. A little miscommunication up the sideline. I'm not going to touch the controller. That is the end of the third quarter. Hands are up. If the game freezes. It's not my fault. Okay. I would be heartbroken and I would very much be simming until we win, by the way, if that happened. So hopefully it doesn't happen. 45 0. So we start the fourth. And a third and 10 upcoming for them. I got Andrew Jackson, one of the first transfers in the series. In at linebackers, backup middle linebacker, he is. Oh, they get it to the tight end. Randy Smith on the run. That was the goofiest fucking play. Ford able to get himself. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing the most, but they're able to get the first down. That's unlucky. 331 total yards to just 87. Stewart on the blitz. They're unable to pick it up, but he dots us to the left. This part of the game is always tough because we are in, like, backup, chew clock mode. They're down a billion, but, like, they're just going to keep throwing it. So I guess we're just going to keep playing man. I try to get clever. I try to do some zone blitzing, but play some just straight-up zone. But realistically, I just got to kind of continue to play man coverage and swarm them, even though I don't want to. Grant Jordan gets the sack as... Ford tries to step up to run, wrestles the quarterback down. Grant Jordan, we haven't seen a lot of 96, but he might have a future, an impactful future for us. He's been uh, he's been training, developing really nicely. So I like Grant Jordan, number 96. We got Simmons in the game as well. Williams, Barry at line at defensive end. A lot of young studs at defensive end. Good end breaker there. Chase, their best player. AJ Chase gonna pick up the. First down, gets separation from Joe Montgomery. I believe Joe's cornerback five. So we're we're getting deep into the into the DB room, but hey, give him credit. Nice play. Nice play. I really hope the new game has all kinds of great soundtrack elements. I know they're going to, but like all the drum tracks and stuff, so good. You know, drum lines, drumming, making really cl like clever and creative beats. I hope they continue to have that be a part of the game. Obviously, the fight songs and stuff, I think they're trying to get. But can you just capture the atmosphere of college football, man? That's it. Another screen. Looking to set it up. We were reading it all the way. Nice play there. Dwight Alexander, the backup linebacker going to get in there and make a sack. I think his first career sack. I don't think Alexander gets a lot of playing time. Nicely done as we are in full control of this one. Third and very long. Not worried here. Expecting some throws downfield, but we'll see. Yep, there's one. I try to let the computer do this again. I should have selected onto him and swatted but Ford just lobs it up the sideline and our backup safety just disinterested in making a play on the ball just runs alongside the wide receiver as he gets a foot in cool all right well here we are just outside the 10 see if they try to run this thing to the right they do not we're gonna carry everybody into the end zone that one is high and wide Incomplete. Jenkins. Jenkins, the backup safety. Just with one of the worst efforts we've seen in a while. <laughs> Just horrible. Atrocious. I don't know how smart this is to bring the pressure. Let's just see. That was a run to the right, and I'm out of position. Ford is going to get there. He's just short. Ball in the wrong hand. <laughs> Brandon Ford down at the one. He's got the first down. I think our shutout is very much in jeopardy. And that is frustrating. This is power shotgun, and it's a double fall start. I have no idea how we stopped him. I mean, he, he had the end zone dead to rights, and he just kind of got slowed up somehow. 
I have no idea how. Still first down. False start, though. Gives us a second life. I don't know here. I think we got a blitz still. Min man coverage. I'm going to bring everybody close to the line of scrimmage. We're just going to man cover everything else behind. There we go. That helps. Jackson with it a sack. His first of the day. We just brought the just brought the linebacker. Double A gap blitz. He gets home. And we might have a chance to sneak out of here, only giving up three. That would be huge. And I am gonna go to the replay because that score bug has done it again. There's just little quirks about this game. I'm again I love it, but just some silly stuff that doesn't happen. In modern games, if you will. Like the emulator's just a little goofy. Speed option. Pitching it out. Mario Sanders makes a nice tackle. There's a bullet. Rivers. Nowhere to go. This is an interesting setup because when we bring in the twos, Sanders and Love actually go back and play safety in some of these formations, which is very bizarre. But, hey. As he throws a wild one in between the two safeties. Ford, a little wayward, and hey, they're going to go for it. So fourth and goal from the nine. Interesting. I mean, I guess. Why not? I would want my boys to score. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. NCAA. No. <laughs> The turnover on downs is is <laughs> oh man you hate to see it the fourth and nine down 45 nothing draw play to turn it over on downs and then turn around and give up a gashing run oh man <laughs> kangwin in the chat knows it's just that's all you can do is laugh that's all you can really do yikes You'd like, to see, you'd like to see something competitive there. You have like three or four straight plays with throws to the end zone, basically, and then all of a sudden, nothing. Roy Morris, back up. Quarterback, oh, can he get a few blocks? Oh. Man, the spin move was nasty. I like Morris. He's got He's got some something to him. I don't see him being the guy forever, but he's got some something. I like him. We're going to flip this out to Lou Walker. Uh oh Walker breaks a tackle, cuts it upfield, gets back outside. Can he get another block? No! <laughs> Lou! This smoke screen to the wide receiver was almost a disaster. Great individual effort, gets a few blocks, and then I just needed one more move. This guy didn't fall for the spin or anything. He never eventually gets tackled. Just a nice play by 11, but ugh. Yeah, almost the biggest play of the day. For real, for real. Almost. That was a fun one, though. Scary. Scary, but a fun one. Double A got blitz coming. Yeah, they're blitzing heavy. Got to check it down. Jeff with space. Jeff with a juke. Jeff with a juke. Rubber bands out of bounds. He's got 15. Easy. Surprisingly enough, that blitz didn't get home, so we had all day and the easy check down to Jeff Clemens. One of the weirdest ones. I talk about him all the time. I talked about him a lot in in the edited videos. You know, we use the dynasty tool to play this game, where the computer runs the training results, and it's just meant that some guys have not developed like they do in real life, where guys just like come to a program and just never end up developing and Jeff Clemens was our first four star running back recruit in the off season of season one he's a fifth year senior number 23 and he has just been a nobody quite honestly he's just been a nobody and you know we've had some really good running backs in the program but like I always wanted him to be something and he just never he just never turned out which is just such a sad situation Good blocking for Walker. Can he get there? He's out of bounds at the five. 
20 yard carry. That's a fun play. Kind of outflank everybody with the speed. A little uh, jet motion. Get to the outside. Just basically got to beat whoever's flying over the top to cover you. And we end up get a few. We could have probably gotten into the end zone if we tucked our shoulders. But ultimately, nice play there. Well done. First and goal from the five. A little inside trap. Clemens running forward, staying on his feet. He's got a couple. Not in a huge hurry to run the ball here. I mean, no reason to throw it. If we can't score on the ground here in two minutes, then it is what it is. It's kind of where I'm at with this play. Clearly don't need any more points than we already have, but we'll see. I don't have any plays that aren't shotgun runs. Well... Credit to the Wake Forest D-line. Couple stops here. They're doing their thing, trying to at least. Third and goal. Again, I'm not interested in doing anything but runs. So, jet sweep's probably asking a bit too much. So let's just go with a base play. Let's see what we think here. This should score. Just judging pre-snap. Wow, Clemens had to make a make a man miss, but we are into the end zone. Jeff Clemens from three yards out. Marshall tacking on another one. 52 to nothing. On the road at Wake. And uh, very much ready to get on the bus and head home. <laughs> Studio update. This might be the UNC final. Ooh, no, it's an NC State Louisville update. And two and nine Louisville almost upset number 12 ranked NC State. I don't know what happened to the Wolfpack. They almost blew it to who we play next week, who is clearly one of the worst teams in college football, two and nine. Uh, but the Wolfpack survive. Wow, Louisville. I don't think Louisville's that good, right? I mean, we just dominated NC State. So, but to stay within a touchdown of them is pretty. Pretty surprising. So, gonna be an interesting, an interesting last couple weeks. Four sacks in the day, three picks, pass breakup. Boys have looked good. Very, very good. Minute and two left. I, I think they're probably still gonna throw. The game is weird like that. These guys like don't realize that the game is over. I don't know. I got a zone blitz styled up. Just a minute left. No, they are going to run it. That's good. Good for you. Run the ball out. Sometimes at the end of the half, they'll get like two yards, and they'll be like, oh, we got to go 100 yards, but we're going to take a timeout here. Like, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? I wonder if they – I was going to say, I wonder if they throw here. They do not. Cut back by Rivers. Met well by – Williams, back up defensive end, quickly to third down. I'm not sure why they're why they're not chew clocking it. We should have head coaches meeting in the middle by this point. 20 seconds left. They're gonna throw. Nowhere to throw. He's gonna go down. Ford sacked by Michael Simmons. That might be his first career sack as well. Number 94. Defensive tackle in there, swarming. That's a fitting way to do it. That's a fitting way to end this thing. 14 seconds up. There's no way they're going to punt it, actually, right? You're not going to actually punt it. Can we Can we just let the clock run? Could you please? Oh, my God. He actually punted it. What are you doing, buddy? No way, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I still cut my feet. Last thing I need is Eric Love to get hit on the last play. That's not... Just run the clock out, you dummy. Yikes. 135 yards, two touchdowns for Casey Smith. rest of the offense was still pretty good, too, though. Andrew Adams and the boys get it done. We maintain our shutout. Casey gets player of the game. Wake Forest in their blackout helmets and black shirts. Get blanked at home. 52 nothing, Adams, I, the passing offense still has a lot of work to do. If we go up against a really good team with really highly rated players, 
uh, we're going to struggle to throw the ball. I It's weird. Like, we've got a weird combination of guys that just, like, don't get separation. Um, the offensive line's been protecting decently. Adams made a couple throws today that I really liked. But by and large, we were either scrambling or we were incomplete. So that throw to Lou Walker right there across the middle, that last touchdown throw by Adams was my favorite throw of the day. So there was some stuff, but... For the most part, not enough stuff. Not enough stuff. But GG's. GG's in the chat. Appreciate you guys. We'll quickly take a look at the stats just like from afar. Not not dive into anything crazy. Um, 52 nothing. 420 yards total offense to just 150. They ran the ball for minus 11. I think that includes all the quarterback sacks. They threw it for 160 uh, to our 209. 33% on third downs. They turn it over to three times. And we scored every time, scored touchdown every time we got to the red zone. So this game, obviously, we knew it would get out of hand, and it very much did quickly. So, hey, come in, handle our business like we were supposed to. That's exactly what we did. Yes, sir. Let's see, any other scores around? Ohio State loses to the Illini. Penn State and Rutgers. Well, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. We saw these game stats, and then in top players, yeah, David Watkins, two picks. Casey Smith did his thing. Beautiful. Beautifully done by the fellas. Let's we'll see if we can get some, uh, some more music going. We do have to save in case the game gets wonky on us like it has been. Can't believe it crashed. I'm glad you guys got to see that though. Like, in on some level, like it's important that everybody knows that that happens. You know, that that's a thing that really that really happens to us. So, I'm not horribly disappointed that everybody got a chance to watch that. So, okay, we saved the game. We'll get some tunes going here. All right. And we'll advance forward. Week 14, final day of the regular season. Next episode, next stream. Let's see if we hit any recruits here to end week 13. Nice big win on the road. Definitely, like I said, clinch the conference division title. So let's see what we got. We'll wrap it up. Appreciate everybody showing love, tuning in. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. You guys are the bomb. It's been such a fun series. And it's going to be a big postseason. 12-team playoff, conference championship game. It's going to be a lot happening. So no commits this week. We stay in battles for, I would call this our top five. We have a punter on the list, too, that I'm not super worried about. These are the five that I'd really like to bring in. Coach of the year finalist, finalist for the Heisman, finalist for the Jet. Basically, all the major awards, we've got somebody in the mix. We'll look at that in the future as well. But it's it's Louisville. Louisville up next. I want to double-check here on the scores. Looks like the Gators won last week, knocking off Missouri in easy fashion. Oregon takes out Washington. Both teams not in the mix for the 12-team uh, playoff. Onward and upward, Wisconsin. 36-35. This is the game we wanted to see. Nebraska slides all the way down to 11, so they're still in the mix a little bit. How did this one end? Wisconsin with a touchdown run from eight yards out by Roberts with under a minute to play. That's how that game ended. That's insane. That is insane. Georgia Tech, Vatek, we saw. Illinois wins in the horseshoe. TCU up to number eight. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the big news we needed to know. Louisville up next. C-minus roster. I think by far the worst roster we've seen all season. Marshall. Should be similar. We should be able to run it back real quick like this and uh, make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. And uh, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. I will catch you in the next live stream. Be sure to show some love like this this stream like this vod however you're watching it and uh, be sure to show it some love you guys are the bomb 
I'm Kimbrough Place. I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Peace.